Tonight, I'm gonna show you how to make banana cream pie caramels. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. March 14th is Pie Day. What's Pie Day, I hear you ask? Well, it's not Pie Day, because as far as I'm concerned, every day is Pie Day. No, it's Pie Day. Pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter and rounded to two decimal places is 3.14. If you wanted to, and I do, you could call that 314, which could easily be interpreted as March 14th, hence Pi Day. So I thought it would be fun to go back to one of my favorite recipe books and make some pie-inspired caramels. I'm going to leave a link to this book in the description for you. And if you stick around after the recipe, I'll share a little pie trivia with you. Pie, not pie. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own banana cream pie caramels, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used two cups of heavy cream, two cups of sugar, one third cup of butter, one cup of light corn syrup, one half tablespoon of banana flavoring, some mini Nilla wafer cookies, and some white chocolate. I also used an eight by eight baking pan, some parchment paper, a large saucepan, a spatula, a thermometer, and a piping bag. Okay, let's make some candy. Line the baking pan with parchment paper. Combine the cream, sugar, butter, and corn syrup in a large saucepan over medium-high heat. Bring the mixture to a boil, then add your thermometer. Cook until it reaches 248 degrees, adjusted for altitude. Remove the saucepan from the heat and quickly stir in the banana flavoring. Pour the caramel into the lined pan and let it set for about 10 minutes. Top it with the cookies, then let it cool completely. Temper or melt the white chocolate and pipe it over the caramel and cookies. Let it rest on the counter until the white chocolate is set, then cut it into whatever size pieces you'd like. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Slanche va. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. The caramel is the perfect consistency, not too hard, not too soft. It's got just the right amount of banana flavor, which really goes well with the caramel and cookie flavors. Now that I think about it, if you made a batch of that traditional Nilla wafer banana pudding and drizzled it with caramel sauce, I imagine it would taste just like this. It's really good. If you're looking for a great way to celebrate Pi Day or any other day, you really ought to try these. In 2009, the US Congress passed Resolution 224, which designated March 14th as Pi Day. March 14th is also Albert Einstein's birthday. Finally, the record for the most digits of Pi memorized belongs to Rajvir Mina, who in 2015 recited 70,000 decimal places of Pi. It took him 10 hours to get through all those. I think with a little effort, I could beat that record. I've already memorized the first, like, three digits. So I thought it would be fun to... The U.S. Congress passed resolution... 
March 14th was also March 15th. March 14th was also 